good woman or woman it makes my day. To me it is palpable proof of God's existence. Hey, posteriori also I don't press the arms and ankles, elbows, knees. It is the tongue, the tongue, the tongue of a woman which blows the job for me. Please understand, I respect and admire the frail sex. And I honor them every but as much as the next. Misogynist of kid with some women that goes to the chance to talk and air upon. They'll go on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on. I fell in love with a woman with wonderful thighs and hips. And a sensational belly, I just never noticed her lips. But all was moving only after we got to the altar and she had to say I do. And she folded her arms and gathered herself and took in her breath and I knew that she could have gone on again, on again, on again till the entire life. Congregation passed out and the vicar passed on and the choir boys passed through puberty at the reception I gloomily noted their family's jubilant mood, their maniacal laughter and their ghastly gratitude. She talks to me when I go for shame or a sleep or a swim. She talks to me on a Sunday when I go singing hymns and drinking heavily when I go mending my chimney pot. She's down there in the street and at 95 my motorbike she's on the pillared seat. On and again, on again, on again, on again. Or when I'm eating or drinking or reading or thinking, or when I'm saying my rosary, she will never stop talking to me. She is one of these women who will never use three or four words when a couple of thousand will easily do. <laughs> she even talks about something to me in our bed of a night. Throughout the sweetest of our intimate delights, she never gives over, not even stopping while we go hammering tongs towards the peak. Except maybe for a sigh and a groan and one perfunctory shriek. So she goes on again, on again, on again, on, and I must assume that she has never noticed that she's just been interrupted totally unruffled. She isn't as far as I can see. I might just as well have been posting a letter stirring up the tea. <laughs> she will not take a hint, not once she's made a start. Why oh, could yawn or belch or bleed or faint or fart? She won't drop a syllable. I could stand in front of her grimly sharpening up an axe. I could sprinkle her with paraffin and ask her for a match. She'd just go on again, on again, on again, even more. The hind leg of a donkey's peanuts for her, she could bawl. The balls of a buffalo, mother of God, I cried one day, oh, let your kingdom come. And in the meantime, mother, will you strike this bugger dumb? <laughs> well, believe it or not, she appeared to me then and there. The Blessed Virgin herself, in answer to my prayer. Despite the vulgarity, shivering softly dressed in blue and holding on her hand, I cocked a pious ear as the mother of God began. And she went on again, on again, on again, on and I will have to state how very much I sympathize with the rest of the family. Give some women ghost of a chance to talk, and thereupon they go on again, 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 on again. Well, they will go on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on. Yeah.